pulled up at the wren's nest. I thought I'd show the car park. There's a lot of people get confused on where to park on here. So, gates. Gates are usually open till, well, 4 p.m. Weekdays, weekends, sad this one it'll be shut. But yeah, this is where you park. We'll buy the pub there at the top. It's a wren's nest over there. Over that way. That's Mons Hill. You can find fossils over there as well. So we'll get over the nest and we'll see what we can find. So, back at the wren's nest today. I think what I'm going to do today, I'm going to have a walk around the park, stop at some um, different locations, show you the kinds of things I look for, kind of stuff I use to look for because it's a hot day, things are going to be hard to spot. So, yeah. Hopefully, I'll spend about half an hour different spots, different locations and fingers crossed we might be able to find something and just uh, turn it round, this is the start of the wren's nest behind me just there is a coral reef so but we have, we're heading over that way see if we can get all round the nest today and see what we can find so, I'm just going to have five minutes, I'll enjoy it myself, something to eat, and then I'm going to crack on. So this bit here is the coral reef, I don't know if you can see, the lighting is not very good. I'm going to get a bit closer, some of the corals, if you focus. In there, there's a bit of chain coral. Not really good for trial bites here, but I thought I'd show a bit. So I've just walked down from the, the reef at the top to this area. Right, some of the kind of things I'll be using today this. Will be helping a lot as you can see the rocks are all the same colour on a sunny day it's going to be hard to spot stuff so but if it's not zooming close enough all the rocks really are full with fossils even the loose plenty of loose bricks to look around See if we can spot anything on here just to give you a quick show. Now what I tend to do is squirt the rock it makes things a lot he easier to spot when I see something. I need a quick scrub down and a wash. Could be a part of a the head there. See if I can spot any tiles around. Some nice big shells in there. Hmm. Looks like there's a part of another head there sticking out. Let's see. head there. What you're really looking for, when the rocks are wet it's easy to spot but you're looking for darker stuff it stands out as you can see that's that's dark. That little bit there is dark, that's dark and those are indicators could be possible 
fragments of trilobites. Let's get some rock square to you. Oh, you can see in there, if we zoom in a bit more. There, it's another part of a tail. Awesome. I mean, you can use a toothbrush. Well, I'll choose one of these. There's a big bracket up up there. Clean it off. So I've just walked to the ripple beds now. Starting from the coral reef, you can see it over there. You see the ripple beds. There's a display here, but as you can see, it's been vandalised by kids. So I'm going to spend another half hour here. Yeah. See what we've done. Just down the bottom of the steps. And there's hundreds of rocks. Of rocks to look through. Usually down here they're a bit worn because people have been treading over them and God knows so well, it's a nice little bit of cobble there. Gastropod where my thumb is. <sighs> Boy valve. Some more bits of coal. Literally every rock you look on, you'll find something. It's the beauty of this place. But finding full trilobites is really hard. Show you some more different corals. Let's see. And there's a bit of a stem. You can see there. I tend not to look on this bit. Because I've, I've looked over here hundreds of times. <laughs> Really, what I want to be focusing at in a minute. I'll probably have a walk up there, have a look about. I'll probably just in them woods over there. Spend half an hour in there having a look. See ya. So, I was just looking through these pile of rocks here, and a couple of things stood out to me. As you can see, the big big shell there and also just in there you can see little black bits so I'll give them a quick spray and uh, give them a quick rub down and we'll have another look so yeah I gave them two rocks a little rub down clean spray there's a lovely shell there on the top and in there, you can see where my thumb is. It's a trilobite tail. You can see it popping through. It's a shame the rest of it's not there. But 
I'm not going to take it because I've got loads of these at home. So I'll leave it on the rock for some deal stuff. Another thing I like to look at is you see where the water is obviously coming down in the cracks. So quick skip through I've just spotted a nice a horn coral. Let's get that quick clean and show you again. So yeah, let's get it a quick wash off. You can see inside, it's a nice uh, horn coral. This. But as I said, I've got plenty of these at home. So, I'll leave it sitting there for somebody else. On my way up, it's now just all the fresh rocks well, obviously kids have been over and smashed up on the way up to the ripple beds so I'm just going to spend just five ten minutes here Let's see if I can spot anything new that's coming out I'm not too sure about that I've been zooming seems to be bobbly I'm sure Stefan will probably identify it if I take a picture. So I'm just walking down the path. Right to look in these for trial boards that have washed out the rock and roll. Well, no trial boards, but there's a nice. I'm going to find my thumb where it's gone. There. Horn coal. Nice coal there. Yeah. Still at the ripple beds. I'm going to have a look at that face and the one I'm going to pop into the woods. So just looking at the bottom of the ripple bed, I've seen a couple of little things I want to try and clean up to show you lot. Obviously. You can't use hammers here by the laws. So all I can do is give the rock a quick rub down. there that probably looks like the back end of a gastropod but next to it it's quite a big clay clay trailer by head I'm sure I've just spotted another one here oh god if you can see it any better As you can see, that's another trial about head. Obviously I can't take these home. I probably wouldn't anyway because I've got plenty. It's just the purpose of showing you a lot. So I'll have another five minutes here. Then I'm gonna move up and over the back up there into the woods. See what I can find. Just look into the loose screen. Come across this. I need to see where my thumb is. Just, uh, I'll give it a clean. Let's see if it reveals anything else. I'll just get it to clean off. You see sections, ribs. I think that one's worth taking out. Section of the woods, it's just up from the ripple beds, like to show it's rocks everywhere, all the way through. 
I mean, we've I've probably looked through this 100 times before, but time's running out, so I don't think I'm going to have time to look down the back end of the nest today, so I'll probably do another video on that tomorrow. So I'm going to have a quick half hour scout in here and see what we can come up with. That's the bottom section of a tail there. Probably Delamantes. You see. You can see on this, that's, that's what you call a rib section. Of a trailer bite. So there's the centre at the sides. All the ribs. Just to show not just fossils, but you can find minerals here too. Some uh, calcite. Even the wildlife is pretty cool. <laughs> Little beetles just chilling out. 